Hello everyone, welcome to Marine Technical School. This is Devabrata Majumdar. Today I will show you how to overall a fuel pump of generator engine. Please watch the full video and follow the description box for important instructions. First of all, we need to fix the fuel pump into the special table and need to turn the fuel pump reverse that means upside down then fix the special tools and slowly tight the nut so that the lock pin can easily come out now you can take out the lock pin after the removal of lock pin you need to lose the knot of this special tool and remove the tool. Take out tapet assembly together with plunger. Remove spring, spring seat and control slip. Take special tools for removing control slip A spring seat will come out together with control slip take out fuel rack after that turn the fuel pump and make it upside down loose the deflectors and bring them out actually those deflectors save the fuel pump from erosion that's why it's also known as erosion plug Unscrew the six bolts of delivery valve case, then remove it very carefully. After that, collect the springs, delivery valve and constant pressure bulb. Unscrew the four bolts of barrel, then lift the barrel by using jack bolts. Slowly tight the jack bolts 
until the barrel came out from the pump body check the condition of the barrel and clean all the parts very carefully Unscrew the Allen bolts and separate the plunger from the tappet assembly and check the condition of thrust plate and shim. This shim is used for the adjustment of fuel pump timing. This is plunger which can move in up and down direction and this is barrel which is fixed. As backup ring is already installed with new plunger assembly, we will put back only new o-rings. Put new o-ring into the fuel rack and make ready the tappet assembly with new plunger, thrust plate and shim. Install jack bolts into the new barrel and apply little amount of lube oil into barrel and pump body. This is the matching point of pump body and barrel. Now insert the barrel into the pump body in such a way that the two match point should be aligned.
slowly tighten the barrel and check the matching points the final tightness of barrel should be done according to instruction manual by torque spanner check the two notch mark of control sleeve the first notch mark of control sleeve should be aligned with the first teeth of fuel rack and the last notch mark of control sleeve also will be aligned with the last teeth of fuel rack insert the fuel rack and check its free movement after that insert the control sleeve in such a way that the first notch mark of control sleeve should be aligned with the first teeth of fuel rack carefully insert the spring seat at correct position and after that insert the spring carefully notice the position of plunger slot of tapered assembly and hole of locking pin of the pump body the tapered assembly together with plunger should be inserted in such a way that plunger should sit on the correct position of control sleeve and the slot of locking pin and hole of locking pin should be aligned fit the special tools again and slowly tighten the tools until you can put back the locking pin through the hole remove the special tool and turn again the pump upside down very carefully put back the delivery bulb springs and constant pressure bulb notice the matching point of barrel and delivery bulb case very carefully put back the delivery bulb case onto the barrel tighten the bolts in a sequence with recommended torque and put back new deflectors with washer now fuel pump is ready to install before installation please change these three o rings thank you very much for watching the video please stay with us and subscribe the channel